Hello, Professor Wesson here for a third time. Michelle's gonna learn how to hold this device. We call it a bow. Uh, now we're going to review how to hold the base, how to form the left hand on the fingerboard. So, okay, against your body. And the triangle looks good. The height looks good. Okay. And you want to put your left hand down, whoosh it on up, so that it's straight. Whoosh. Yeah. Now, yeah. So we'll now bring your pinky around. Bring it around town. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's going to relax. Wherever it's comfortable. And just uh, put your put your left arm down again, whoosh again. Three, two, four, one, tap, tap, tap. Okay. Whoosh. That's how it goes. Three, two, four. Uh, two, three, four, one. Tap, tap, tap. Two, three, four, one. Tap, tap, tap. Okay, that's pretty good. They're slightly above the dots, but that's where I find the bass is most in tune. I'm going to rosin this thing up. Bass rosin is different than violin, viola, and cello rosin. Never use, never use, you know, a rosin for one of those instruments on this one. Never mix rosins and instruments. And don't buy the kind that works for all four, it's really bad. They're lying when they tell you there's one that works for all four. This works the best. Bass rosin for a bass bow. A bass. Bass. Alright, so now I'm going to teach you beginner's bow hold. It's the same as your regular former bow, bow hold, but it's up on the bow. It's, easy, it's kind of easier to control the bow and hold the bow in the center like that. So I'll demonstrate, and you just follow these steps, and I'll walk you through it after I demonstrate. So first you're going to hold, you, you definitely want to hold the bow with your left hand to, you know, cause, so it's stable. First you're going to form a shadow dog. Now this is called shadow dog because if you saw the shadow of the shape on the wall, it would look like a dog. Your thumb needs to connect with these two lines of your two center fingers. And their thumb needs to be curved. If you're playing like this, that's wrong. The dog's mouth looks like he has locked jaw. He stepped on a nail, he got gangrene. The thumb has to be curved the entire time. <laughs> yeah, then we'll tighten that. Thumb has to be curved the entire time, okay? So shadow dog, step one. Step two, it's puppet wrist. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, shadow dog. Third, a curved thumb. Yes, that's that's very important for a relaxed, you know, hold. Mm -hmm. Puppet wrist with the shadow dog. Then you're gonna place it on the bow. Then you're gonna let your pinky hang over and your index hang over. See how my fingers are hanging past the the hair. I mean, so I, I'll. Yeah, that's normal. That should happen right now. All your fingers need to be hanging over. Yeah, grab it with your left, just hold it with your left hand. So yeah, shadow dog. Make sure your thumb's curved. Puppet wrist. A place about, you know, right there on the bow. Okay, make sure your thumb's still curved. It's still curved. Nope, take, nope, I still want those ears up to listen to this world music. Okay, now let your pinky hang over and your index hang over. Now, these fingers should be curled and spread apart as much as is pretty comfortable. They should be spread apart fairly apart. <laughs> um, it's as far as far as I can go. Okay. Comfortable yeah. and I can hold it. Okay, if you feel like that's correct. Now the last step, well not the last step, one of the things we need to check is that all the fingers are hanging over. These two aren't quite hanging over, so you actually want to bring them in a little bit. Another thing we want to check is that our fingers are, for the most part, per perpendicular to the bow. So these ones kind of need... Do I need it? No, turn it back over. I don't know. Okay. That's like a dead... That's like a turtle. Who can't get up? <laughs> <laughs> that's horrible. Um, but yeah, make sure that's hanging over. Make sure that's hanging over. Thumb is curled, good. Yeah, so this. Relax your wrist, relax your hands, relax your fingers, relax your thumb. 
It should be like this. It should be like you're holding an apple or a tennis ball. So, start over, hold it with your left hand. Hold it with your left hand. Shadow dog. And holding the bow is just going to be like this. You're kind of, your fingers are kind of straight when you hold it. They need to be hanging over like that. So, Can you hold it there? Yeah. Yeah, so dink, 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 dink. And you're kind of, your, your pointer, your index finger and your pinky were sliding. You were, you were, it's like your grip was just rotating backwards. Your, your hanging brothers, as we call them. These hanging brothers need to be touching the string, not up here, okay? All right, so let's review that again. Hold it with your left hand. Right hand goes about here. After the shadow dog is formed, thumbs grip. Puppet wrist, relax that wrist. Okay, now place on the, on the bow, yeah, just like that. Hang these two over, it should be slightly curved. And that's a pretty good bow hold. That picture is worth a thousand words. Now, let's put, let's combine all three elements. Playing the bass, double bass. We have learned, okay? So we have against your body. Triangle looks good. Let's get some whoosh action. Whooshy. Whooshy. Okay. Yeah, lower, lower your fingers a little. Okay, good. Now you can just lean that and balance that base against your body. You want to do the same things. Hold it with your left hand. Yeah. Set up, set up your shadow dog first. Curve thumb. Place. Hanging brothers, and we're good. So, yeah. There we go. Good. All right. So, you're going. You're going to want to. Down the right string. The string. You're going to want to bow down here. Okay. Is that comfortable? Yeah. Just open. Don't yet. Yeah, put bow in the D string. Yeah, good. Try and tilt it this way. Yeah. 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 Put more pressure. You can put pressure with yours. So like press a little bit down harder to get louder. Yeah. And on bass, it's different from like violin. On bass, we want a slower motion. So just this motion. Don't let the boat travel as far. Just press harder and move. Don't move as far. And you should get more volume. Let's try um, D, 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 and then you're going to keep that motion going. One, two, three, four. You're gonna put the first finger down. That's gonna be an E. So let's just do four D's and four E's, okay? and slow.
That was very good, Michelle. We'll work on your solo for your performance in front of the lens. Good job.